YouTube, boy, I'm done, I'm fucking letting on full, aka, we're not finna get into all that, man, and I'm back with episode 39 of the Jaguars franchise, now, episode 38, we played the Steelers, this episode, we're gonna fast forward, go to the divisional round, now, I just wanna remind everybody, I was the number one seeded team in the AFC, so with me being the number one seeded team in the AFC, we got that first week by, and now in the division round, we're going to play the Pittsburgh Steelers, who we played in our last episode, so it's going to be a real good game. Um, This game, I didn't play live, so I'm going to be, you know what I mean, doing my little commentary over it, so if y'all don't mind that, appreciate y'all boys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, man, and I saw all that. I'm out. Right, this is our playoff game. Like I told y'all, we're going against the Steelers. Um, last time, Like I said, last time we played this dude. Smacked him, you know what I mean? I ain't, I ain't even going, you know what I mean? <laughs> I ain't even going to try to shoot code now. We smacked that boy. Uh, defense, I'm running my 335 to 335 wide scheme that I posted earlier this week. <clears throat> Offense, I'm running the spread. All right here, we come out in a couple four, bro. And I know he's not going to make that read, right? Steve, that's a Steve you want to read. That's a read that you don't want to make. I'm I'm playing all that. I'm playing the curl. I'm playing that, that crossing route. If I, that's me, I'm throwing it out of bounds. But we get the ball. Uh, 36, he stopped me the first two uh, first two times right here. Nothing's really getting open. That probably wasn't the best route combo that I have. But, hey, it is what it is. I'm going to take my sack, get my three, and we're going to go up 3-0. We're playing a little bit of offense, you know what I mean? He gets the ball back, and he like to run this wide receiver jet touch pass. And he like to add the... Um, it's the fake jet touch pass and it'll be a QB power run. So he started to run that a lot and I, that's another pick. You know what I mean? That's that's it. That, honestly, that one, I didn't think I was going to get the pick. I was just lurking and holding triangle and he happened to throw it to the tight end uh, post route. And that's pick six. You feel me? Now it's 10 to zero. It's not really looking too good for the boy. And like I told you, I smacked this man already. So it's not like, you know what I mean? Unseen what for why I'm winning. And again, he's going to throw me another pick. Like another one. You feel me? On, on some DJ Khaled jump, bro. <clears throat> and right here, I'm kind of gonna slow up the game a little bit because he went three, three straight, three straight picks. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to slow up the game a little bit. Um, first and ten, nice little angle out for Kareem Hunt. You know what I mean? And the reason I like the spread, bro, is because like it has 20 to 23 gun formations, which are all volatile, and like it has no, it has no, um, no single back or no I form, no strong. It's right that we throw it, we throw it dumb interception on the rpo it is what it is he's gonna take it all the way to the 40 you feel me or 39 whatever they give him but i like this i like the spread formation bro it, it gives me a lot to look for you know what i mean it, it has the a slot it has the spread it has the doubles it has the trio it has a bunch it has pretty much anything that you need if you want to just strictly run a gun um and the run plays aren't limited either like you have your inside zones yes you have your own traps yes but you also have power rows you have buck sweeps you have a lot of runs that you can look for and if you don't want to run those all those gun plays that they have they have two pistol formations with pistol ace and a pistol double so really really solid formation i was running it heavy in the beginning of the year but uh you know i, I switched my formation i switched my playbooks every so often but for right now we are in the spread for this playoffs Right here, third and six. I tried to set up a little thing where I get the tight end open, but tight end didn't end up getting open. I don't know what he was playing his curls to, honestly. I knew he was playing cover four, but I didn't know how far back he was playing his um his zones. Similar to the first game that we had played. Right here, I'm gonna try to gamble a little bit on the fourth down and run it with Green Hunt, but we're not able to get it as the defense alignment sheds my offense alignment. So, first and ten, you know what I mean? It's cool. I ain't even worried about it. I know my defense is gonna step up. We're gonna get a sack. Richard Sherman off the edge. And I'm telling y'all, bro, if y'all wanna learn how to make it, if you already run a 335, I feel like you should watch my video so you can learn how to make it better. Like these tips that I'm showing y'all are work absolutely great for rollouts, great for stopping a run. It doesn't matter what run that they're stopping, I mean that they're running on you, you're gonna be able to stop the run. The only thing I'd say about the formation that gives me difficulty is tight formations. When I go against tight formations, since I'm running multiple D, I usually go to dollar three two six. I'm just gonna throw a little, little, little slight dot, little micro dot, them, uh, <laughs> the biscuits and all. But yeah, I, I go to dollar three two six. I'm going against formations like tight, just a bunch maybe. And right here, we're gonna hit him with another dot over the sideline. And that's the thing I'm telling you about spread, bro. Like. It's, I can I can do so much, and there's a bunch of the same concepts in all these formations as we punch it to the end zone for a 17 to seven lead. And now, like I told y'all, we get the ball at the third, in the start of third quarter. And honestly, if I make it 24 to, to seven, I wouldn't say I'll put the game away, but going up three possessions is always good, you feel me? So, 
I was running I was running this trio offset weak play. Uh, this formation could be found in the Chiefs playbook as well. It's a really good formation. Had square open right there, but I'm gonna wait and hit X over the top. And I mean, Levis can all say, yeah, you know I mean, we, we just ain't gonna block today, which is cool. But I feel like I definitely could have got more yards on here. Right here, <clears throat> we're gonna go to a run with uh, Kareem Hunt. And Kareem Hunt is, like I say in every video, bro, is the best running back in the league, bro. Like, he, he literally can't be stopped. He can't be stopped, bro. Like, he, he's, a, he's a wrecking ball. Right here, we go to the power. The power O is a really good formation because. It's a little bit better than the old one trap. Now the old one trap is meant for you to go left. The power O is meant for you to go right. And right here, I just run my pad and a goal line uh, play where I just put the running back on the swing route. But if you're not doing this, bro, I'm telling you, come on and go line, put your running back on the swing to the left. Well, PA power O, put your running back on the swing to the left, and it's going to be wide open every single day. And what I told y'all earlier, man, with Lamar Jackson, he liked to run that jet touch pass and he liked to spam the uh, little QB power. So after a while, you know what I mean? He was kind of killing the uh, 335. So. What I tried to do was I tried to shift all my guys to uh, the strong side because the strong side being whatever side the tight end was on because he would, he wouldn't even run the inside zone. He'd just either run a touch pass or he'd run the QB power or he'd just do a play action. Right there, like I said, he's a bot. He just threw it up to his X back there and he ends up getting reward. So I'm like, all right, it is what it is. That's cool. We get the ball, end up going three and out and I put him the ball back. So now he's starting to, I guess, get a little bit of momentum. Seven minutes left in the fourth quarter. We honestly just got to get a stop, get him off the field. And I mean, if we if we hold him to three, I'll be, I'll be straight with that as well. Still in the three, three, five wide. Um, trying to, I'm trying to stick to my guns a little bit, but he is kind of ripping it up. As you see with this QB power, he's getting, he's getting quite loose. <laughs> he's getting quite loose. So after he did that, I switched on my defense. I went to the three, 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 four eye. And I started again, shifting my guys to the strong side. And, you know what I mean? As you can see right here, first and goal, we did a nice little job. You know what I mean? Even though I got a uh, superstar out there, we did a good job of containing with the backside linebackers and defensive back. And again, he tried, he likes to hurry up and run the same exact play. So I'm going to run the same exact defense. You know what I mean? If you're going to come out here, do the QB power, it's locked up. You feel me? Now it's third and goal. Now it's, now, you, now you're forced to pass because I already know what you're going to do. And you're not resetting your, your offense. You're not going to the huddle. You're going to just no huddle, no huddle, no huddle. So bet. I'm going to just do my same adjustments, lock up everything, because you're running the same plays regardless. And we're going to get a sack in the back. You know what I mean? We're going to get a sack on the 16, and you're forced to either have to go for it or you're going to kick your field goal. Either way, I am I like my eyes on both those scenarios. You feel me? We ends up taking his points, making it 24 to 17 with four minutes and 14 seconds left. We get the ball. I ain't gonna lie, I'm shooting clock. You know what I mean? You're gonna, you gonna have to get me out of the field, especially with them two timeouts. I want both of them timeouts. And here go Kareem Hunt. <laughs> here goes Kareem Hunt, man. Running it all the way down to the 41. And now he's lighting up and he gets kind of dangerous. I think I got freight train on him, which where he just, uh, he breaks whatever first contact is on him. No, no matter where it is, the first person we touch him, he's more than likely gonna break that. And we're just gonna keep running the ball down the field. Two minutes left. I'm still running the power O, and that power O is getting dangerous. But I always feel like my biggest Achilles heel, bro, is holding calls, bro. Like, I don't know how I get so many holding calls in the season, bro. It's honestly mind boggling. But it's cool. I'm not even worried about it because I know the defense that he's in is a cover four. And with me knowing that it's a cover four, I could do one of two things I could either pass the ball to where there's a gap. So say if he's playing in the middle, I can throw it over the middle. Or if he's playing on safety, I can throw it to wherever safety side he's on. Or I can run the ball. Right here, I know he's in cover four. Third and 16. This is kind of a big gamble. This is a really big play in the game. Go to the play action, fake the run. And triangle's going to be wide open. Like I said, he's running a cover four. And with him playing that deep uh, quarter safety, it's left wide open if he's all the way in the box trying to worry about crossing route. So, and we're getting that touchdown. It's 31-17. That was kind of GG's, you know what I mean? But it's going to put the nail in the coffin as he throws an interception to Marcus Williams. You know what I mean? That's that's probably one of the best signs I had in this <laughs> in this franchise, you know what I mean? Uh, but, yeah, that's honestly going to be the game, 31-17. What I try to do, I try to run the ball out on him, you know what I mean? But he kept calling the timeout. He had two timeouts. They caught another timeout. So I'm like, all right, bet. You're going to keep calling timeouts, keep me in the game. I'm going to score. I'm going to score another touchdown. Right? That's, that's just how this going to work. So uh, right here, we came out in ace. And I just I didn't want to set up like a huge dot. I just wanted to set up like a little micro dot to keep him thinking and think I was going to pass again. So I just mo put uh, one guy on the, on the streak and another guy on the slant. Just a little micro dot on the sideline. Get out of bounds. 16 seconds left. 
you know what I mean? We're going to milk the clock. Now, I think I ran the ball, but I got a holding call. So we run the ball again. And I'm telling you, these run plays out of this spread formation, that's a little sticky. I'm sticky. I'm sticky on it. You know what I mean? We're going to take it on to Chris Showboat on that, man. But I'm telling you, the run plays out of this spread playbook are, they're out of this world. And I, I'm, I like to run the ball. I like to run like strong close and iPhone close and under center runs. As you see, Trey Lance is doing what he needs to do. But that spread playbook is very top notch. Um, see, we ain't really get nothing from the receiving game. Kareem Hunt had 188 yards and two touchdowns. That's that's top running back in the league. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, and defense did what they needed to do. Uh, but looking forward to next week, man. At the winning that game against the Steelers, uh, we go against the Patriots. I know you probably can't see it because my head, but we go against the Patriots. So looking forward to that game. I'm gonna have that game drop tomorrow. So hey, man, appreciate y'all boys, and I'm out. Peace.